After milling is complete, use a centered diamond burr at a low speed to smooth out the sprue attachment point and any other surface irregularities. Minor adjustments to proximal contact points and any contour adjustments may also be made at this stage. Extrude a small amount of IPS Empress Universal Glaze Liquid on your mixing pad. In a separate area, extrude small amounts of the IPS Empress Universal Shades and Stains that you will use for the particular case. Mix the IPS Empress Universal Shades and Stains thoroughly. If necessary, add a small amount of IPS Empress Universal Glaze Liquid to the shades and stains to get them to a workable consistency. Very lightly dampen the restoration with IPS Empress Universal Glaze Liquid. Use only subtle application of shades and stains to ensure a realistic and aesthetic appearance after firing. Use incisal shade paste to mimic incisal translucency on your restorations. For a slight halo effect, add a touch of white stain along the incisal edge. White stain may also be used to mimic areas of decalcification on the restoration. For more intense levels of chroma, apply the appropriate shade paste throughout the gingival area. Utilize the appropriate shades and stains based on individual case needs. Once all shading and staining is complete, glaze spray can be applied. It is important to shake the IPS Empress Universal Glaze Spray vigorously prior to use.
apply short bursts of spray to each axial wall of the restoration, ensuring coverage from the incisal edge down to the margin. Apply a second coat of glaze spray, ensuring adequate coverage of the restoration. Place your IPS Empress CAD restoration on a firing pin and fire in the Programat CS furnace using the pre-programmed settings. Your final results will be highly aesthetic and ready for cleaning and cementation.